I love you. And if people don't vote for you tonight, they're insane. To rubbish and make sure you wash your hands on the way out. Possibly the worst event act I think I've ever seen. Oh, really? No. Wouldn't book you for my three-year-old's party. Stupid you like it's a little bit fake and you were cheating. <laughs> well, it was like looking in the mirror. <laughs> 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 Who would have thought? I'm sure you've been at the receiving end of a lot of auditions where people oh, have passed comment on you. Definitely. I mean, all those cliches of next, don't give up your day job, or just yeah. bye <laughs> before I've even opened my mouth. I, definitely. I've been in the business 17 yes. years, Eamon. But what they say, Amanda, is with power comes responsibility, yes. doesn't they? Oh, I'm very. I've I've got lots of responsibility now. I don't know whether I'm very responsible, mm. but I have lots of responsibility. I do take it very seriously. This yes. job. I know that kind of people. It, it's sage. It's just a yeah. talent show, but actually. I think it's more than that. But the timing of it is awful tomorrow, isn't it, for you as regards finals? <sighs> Everton are playing Chelsea tomorrow. I'm a huge Everton fan and I cannot go to the final. And I had tickets for the director's box and everything. I, mm -hmm. My seats were going to be right where we were going to yeah. lift the cup. Well, I'm Which doing nothing tomorrow do. afternoon if the seats are still free. You know, I think you can... Chris is going to take DC with him instead. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, and, and Lexi, your lovely little girl, is with us today. Yes, she should and, be. And you do. Quiet. She's been very good. She's a beautiful girl. Um, you do get quite gooey about the kids on the show, don't you? I know. It's. I do think that my hormones are shot since I've had a baby. I was always quite an emotive person anyway. But since having her, I cry at adverts. Yeah. I cry at anything. But I mean, for good reason. I don't want everyone mm. to think I'm just having breakdowns every five minutes for no good reason. So what? This is your second year on the show. So do it's you, third. Is it third? Third. So it's it's gone so hard. Yes, it has gone. So we have Paul Potts, George Sampson, and then. And Wasn't whoever? George fantastic last Wasn't night? I turned to Simon and I said, Oh my God, he's like Justin yeah. Timberlake. Yeah. He was brilliant. It was Absolutely amazing. Absolutely brilliant. I keep thinking he could do his own show somewhere in the O2 and sell out. Now, we've got to talk about Susan Boyle because she's the front page of so many papers yeah. today. Appears to have had a bit of a meltdown. Seems to be under a lot of stress. Yeah. Um, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because she, she stunned us all when she walked out onto that stage and opened her mouth and that voice came out, the voice yeah. of an angel. Um, and there's a lot of expectation riding on her. She, Do you think she's going to make it tomorrow? Oh, she will definitely be in tomorrow's final. And she won't let the pressure get to her and she will do a great job. I know she will. And hopefully she'll sing I Dreamed a Dream, which is what everybody would love her to sing. Mm. You know, I, I keep saying to people, I've been in this business for... 17 years, 15 of which I've kind of been known for, and I'm not media savvy now. I still open my mouth and say things I shouldn't. For somebody like that who's just had six weeks of phenomenal worldwide fame, I mean, me, Simon and Piers put together don't get that kind of attention. I don't know how she's supposed to handle that. And it was journalists that wound her up the other day. And, you know, they would wind me up, they'd wind anybody up with the questions they were asking. It's, it's just, you know, she is under a lot of pressure, but no one can blame her. Mm -hmm. And do you think she could win it? I think she could win it. I do think she could win it, although the final is looking increasingly fantastic. I mean, I'm not just saying it. I don't think that we should just ex expect her to win it. I don't think it's no. a given. But I think that, you know, if you're going to have a bet, the chances are... Yeah. She would. Well, she might be favourite with the bookmakers, but there's always that thing, of course, because people expect her to win it. Th that they, they won't take up the phone. Yeah. 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 So now, who does that let in the in the door? There are other runners and riders who well, catches your eye. I mean, I love Stavros Flatley. I love them. <laughs> I absolutely love them, just because they're cheeky and uh -huh. funny and infectious uh -huh. and good fun. Um, I love diversity. Look at him. He's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Brilliant. Diversity and flawless. Diversity and flawless. How do you I, choose between I don't those know. Two? I don't know. I think they will split their votes. I mean, they are amazing. And when you think, when they do their own choreography, yeah. you know, so much imagination goes yeah. into that. I don't know how they think of it. Especially diversity, you know, when they kind of had the car and they were getting in and it's brilliant. It's a, it's a shame in a way that the girl dance group didn't go through last night to give the boys a bit of a run I for know. their money. Although they... I do think we've kind of got enough dancing in the final, to be honest. Look, now, look at them. Uh, they are amazing. And I also think Shaheen is amazing. He's got an amazing yeah. voice. And he looks he's, so and angelic he's cute as well. And yeah. very, he's very young, isn't he? Look at that. But he is, he's lovely looking and in his actual fact, he sounds even better than that. I mean, it's amazing how it comes across on telly. In the studio and his life, he's even better than how he comes across on telly. It was an incredible night when he opened his yeah. mouth.
What was wrong with that woman and the dog last night? Why did they not get through? <laughs> Simon, Simon, for Simon, I was looking for forward reason, to interviewing the dog, the dog and yeah, the woman. No. I know. I, I think Simon, you know, this is where... I love it because it's the only time Simon kind of... You see another side to Simon is when the animals come on or when dogs especially come on. He absolutely loves them. And I think he truly believed that the dog, dog was going to come on with tap shoes on. <laughs> and, I, and I still think that he might give dogs an, a chance. I think if anybody out there has got a tap dancing dog, you have you're a big chance year, next also. year. Has Simon got a dog? No, because lover? he's always travelling, yeah. so he can't have one, but he, it, that upsets him. So Simon, I think I could look after your doggy for you. You love Simon, don't you? I love and adore Simon. Ruth, you need to come down to the show and get some kisses from him. Oh, I, I couldn't, because I'd just get embarrassed around him. Would but, you call it off between you and Eamon? We do want a dog, don't we? So I could have a dog called Simon. Si called Simon, and I could yeah, look after it for it. you. <laughs> we yeah. could share. No, we could dog look, share. there he is. And how, you know, you are the, the rose between those two thorns, really. I, do, I you, do you know I think sometimes it's been tough for you, though, is that whenever you criticise women, you always get the kind of, oh, oh, oh she's jealous, such which is so annoying. Thing. It's annoying, because yeah. I'm a girl's girl, and I think most people know that. And if I criticise a girl, like I buzzed the belly dancer the yeah. other day, she's absolutely stunning. Yeah. My daughter loved her hair, she was like Aurora, but she wasn't belly dancing, yeah. she was just, you know, it wasn't great. It they matter? were loving her for another reason. Yes. Yep. Do you see? It's a talent Best show. Best interview I've ever had on this show was the belly dancer from last year, wasn't it? Oh, oh no, her. she was a different ball game. Mm. I loved that girl. <laughs> I loved her. But, um... No, I'm there to, to kind of keep a little bit yes. of decorum. And it's an easy thing for them to say, I'm jealous. I'm not jealous. Exactly. I think it's a cheap shot. It's a cheap It's cheap. a very the cheap shot. of them are cheap. We no, know that. Talking my... about shots, I want to I show you a shot. A shot's been in the paper all this week of you, right? We're going to show this. you are going to have me drinking tequila or something. No, 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 no. no. A photographic <laughs> shot. A photographic <laughs> shot, right? So this is, this is the picture that's appeared of you in the p Ooh. paper this week. Now, why are you going all natural here? Um, I think it's... Because, you know, everybody looks like that, don't they, when they kind of got no makeup on? I, I think, think it's you a look refreshing lovely. thing to kind of take all your slap off. Oh, believe me, not everybody everything. looks like that I without so makeup. I so don't look like that without no. makeup. <laughs> I, I just thought I was going to just do it for the girls mm. everywhere, just to see. And also for me to see if I could actually do it. And the, do you know the interesting thing what? is the photographer said to me, come on, Amanda, can't, can't give me one of your little sexy looks. And I went, oh, no, I can't do that. I've got no lip gloss on. <laughs> and I felt straight away like I could lip, be lip sexy because I had important. nothing on. I mean, when you died, you wore lip gloss, I didn't did you? I did in Wild at Heart. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us that story. Insisted. Well, I insisted on dying, first of all, and being burnt to death and doing all my own stunts. It was an amazing day. Um, and then I said to them, I need lip gloss. And they were like, oh, come on. And then I said, and I also want dirt just kind of there, like yeah. they do in American movies. Yeah. So I had dirt. Sweet. And they also, over there, they kind of pick it off the floor and do it. And I said, no, I need hot chocolate. So I made them get hot chocolate. <laughs> so I had hot chocolate. Not stuff. at all diva-like. No, 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 no. And I had an oxygen tent for between <laughs> yes. sets. Because you see, the thing about you is, you're watching people who are trying to live their dream. Um, but you have lived your dream. I am living And America's here. part of that dream yeah. for you, very much so. And as soon as this final finishes tomorrow, you're on a plane to America. To New York. To do what and why is to it so important to you? To do kind of what you're doing. I'm just co-anchoring a show. It's just for a day. I'm also doing Larry King Live, which is just well, amazing. Well, that's cult stuff, isn't I it? I know. And I'm, I'm just co-anchoring and there's lots of irons and lots of fires because there's been a real ripple of, ooh, who's that? Because I've been competing for television time with peers, obviously. That's hard. We never let each other speak and so we just keep going till somebody listens to us on all the American networks. And from that... We've had quite a bit of interest, yes. finally. And this is, is this a new show you're doing? It's, no, it's just the CBS Early Morning Show. Right. It's, it's the New York Morning Show, and then that it gets syndicated across America. Take it from America. me. <laughs> Look at me, 24 years of age. Look what it's done to Getting me. Getting up early in the morning. You don't want to be doing that. I think I could handle that in New York, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. Well, think of the shopping. I can, you'll be up early, you do the show, and then go shopping yeah. straight if on If you need a seasoned old hand beside you. Not very good, but I'm sure. <laughs> but the, the thing that got me was, and I was reading about why the Americans like you or why they wanted you. Yeah, why do they like me? I haven't read it, actually. Well, it, was, it was about, it was your cut glass British accent. Yes. Was it, darling? Your cut glass. Cut glass. My cut, no, and I keep saying, yeah, well done, darling, right, on darling. the show. My agent said to me, would you stop saying darling on Britain's Got Talent and stop saying 
A hundred percent yes. <laughs> and stop clapping like that. Oh yes, there's been a lot of them coming about like the seal. seal. Yeah, Somebody okay, will throw you a fish. Me. That keeps yeah, happening. Yeah, that's all right. Um, um, but you are looking increasingly glamorous, and I do think you're enjoying it and you're loving it. And and every night the outfits you can down those stairs. I love in. that entrance on that yeah. lift. But walking downstairs in heels. Do you know what one heels. of the producers said to me the other night? He said, Amanda, would you stop looking like a competition winner when you arrive in that lift? Could you not try and but look a bit cool like but Madonna? But you obviously feel as if you are a competition I am. winner. Yeah. I do. I'm yeah. like. I can't believe I'm here, it's so exciting, and I'm trying to be cool, but it's not me. Good, it's not good. me. Are you going to miss it when it's finished? Oh, I will be so depressed. It's like Boxing Day every day for the next two weeks after this, although going to New York is obviously softening the blow a bit. Come yeah. on then, you're going to say, you're going to give us your number one tip. Who do you think is going to win? Come on, put your money where your mouth is. Okay, let's, oh, well, it's going to be Susan Boyle. Okay. If, if Susan Boyle wasn't in the final, which obviously she's going to be, there's no panics mm. about that, um, I would love Stavros Flatley to win. Right. And as regards the FA Cup final? Everton all the way. Come on, you blue boys! Way, I know I'm not there, but I'm there in spirit. <laughs> Amanda, lovely talking to nice you. Thank but all you. goes well Send for you over Simon the weekend a big in America. From me, won't you? Oh, I will. No, I like doing that bit. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Can I give one to Piers as well? Because he yeah. gets jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. From Back England. on Monday. That's another good weekend. Bye-bye.